Hello there, I am le prof Kerbal. In this video I'm gonna teach you some advanced tips for the game in no particular order. Number 7 will shock you! Ok, so let's start with this one. Number 7. Place a long beam on your rocket. Place some little beams on the long one in 8-way symmetry. Replace the long beam also in 8-way symmetry. Now there are... 64 little beams. Are you even listening? Now take an object and touch one little beam. You are now in 64-way symmetry. Have you ever seen a ring-shaped station? This is a proper way to create one. I will call this rocket la Renault Fusée. Number 1. Yep, 1, the number after 7. You're in the VAB, you try but you can't attach your parts properly on the node. In fact, there are two types of attachment, the radial attachment and the node attachment. In this situation, just press the ALT key to disable the radial attachment. Yeah, that's better. The ALT key is also great to duplicate your parts, you don't need to select them again in the list. Number 2. Remember you can displace your parts, that's very useful, especially for landing legs cause they are often too short. By pressing the SHIFT key, your parts can be moved without limits, that is very useful for rings. Wow, look at this! It's like a baguette, but it's round! Amazing! You can also put some pieces inside other pieces, that is called clipping, and that's cool, look at this. Damn, this is too steep, I cannot land here. I can land here. Aha! I call this rocket La Peugeot Heavy. Uh, no, Lourde, like the city. Number 3. Go in the settings and tick Advanced Tweakables. Now some features will appear when you right click on a part. You have the auto struts, it will make your rocket more rigid and therefore you won't have to place your own struts. You can set which tank empties first, which is handy because it greatly affects the center of gravity. You can change the stiffness of the landing legs, etc. This is Latin. Number 4. Check out the mods. Personally, when I got interested in mods, I felt like I discovered a new game. Some graphic mods are quite light, some are very advanced. Some mods will add new parts, and of course, some mods will change the gameplay. There is even a mod to install mods. This mod is called Sican, it will handle the issues regarding to dependencies and version. Almost a must-have. Number 5. Press Alt plus F12 to open the console. You can also click right here. Using the cheat menu, you can, for example, teleport yourself directly into orbit. You can also have infinite fuel and even deactivate all crash damage. And very important, you can create your own carbonauts and give them better names. Yeah, Charles de Gaulle, you will do great things. Number 6. When I play KSP with my keyboard, and I mean my AZERTY keyboard, the rotation of my rocket is not very smooth, it appears clearly on these gauges. Gauges. Gauges? What the hell? Ok, so it's not very accurate. In this situation, press caps lock to activate the precise mode. The dials turn to blue and the rotation becomes way softer. I call this rocket LA CITROEN, ah, that's not funny anymore. Number 7. Nah, that's already done. Number 8. You wanna take a screenshot in the heat of the moment. I learned this expression just for this video. The F2 key will hide the UI, maybe you knew that. But did you know you can press escape and then press F2? The time freezes, that's perfect for a screenshot. You've got all your time to do it your way. In the heat of the moment. By the way, hold Alt and scroll to change the field of view. I call this plane le Airbus... Ah, that's enough, and I know it. Number 9. You are using an ionic probe. The maneuver you planned will last 20 minutes. You wanna warp, but that doesn't work. You should know that there are two types of time warp. The normal one and the physical one. In this situation you cannot activate the normal warp, but press ALT plus warp to force the physical warp. There you go, you'll have to wait 5 minutes instead of 20. With the time you save you can do what you want, I don't know, protest or whatever. Number 10. You have a plane? but that plane pitches down, you regularly press S to keep your altitude. But the good solution is to activate the trims. They are completely hidden, I don't know why. Hold ALT plus S to adjust the pitch until your plane feels stable. It only works when the SAS is turned off. Yeah, that's better like this. To reset the trims, just press ALT plus X. That's very useful if you completely f*** up. Uh, excuse my French. Of course, you can adjust any axis. 
Wow, look at me, I'm a great aviator. I feel like Roland Garros. You mean the famous tennis man? <gasps> yeah, number 11. Nope, it's a top 10, I said. But if tip number 11 existed, it would be one of these tips. And voila, that's the end of the video. Did you like it? Tell me. Usually my videos are in French, but if I get a lot of success in English, I may release more videos in English. But that will be if I'm not on strike. Eventually I will run out of cliches someday. Please comment, like, subscribe and share if you want to motivate me. And see you soon. Maybe.